Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I'm pretty excited. I've got a brand new Android tablet that literally just came out last week. This is the Matrix Pad Z4. It's from a company called Vankyo, and I'm gonna give you an unboxing, a product overview, and then obviously a little bit of a demo with some of the capabilities in playing games, watching video, and even reading eBooks. So this comes in at just less than 95 pounds. It's such a bargain. It's under $100 in the US. So if you wanted to get a very high-end Android tablet with uh, great capabilities at such a cheap price, then this should be the one you'd be checking out. So let's just get straight into it. All right, getting straight into it, it's a 10.1 inch tablet, which runs Android 9.0 Pi, and it also has a 1280 by 800 IPS LCD display. It also comes with this nice matte black finish with the Vankyo logo at the back and it also has two speakers on the bottom left and right of the uh, back side of the tablet. Now inside the tablet it comes with two gigabytes of RAM and it also has a 64-bit quad-core CPU and also comes with 32 gigabytes of ROM. Now in terms of the battery life it has a very decent 4500 milliamp hour battery which is comparable to things like the Samsung S10 Plus which is a very flagship phone. So that will give you around eight hours of usage depending on how much videos and games you're playing but day-to-day -day usage you should average about eight hours and it gives you a full charge within three hours of uh, charging it you immediately notice that there's only one side of the tablet which has the ports and buttons and none of the others so we have a micro usb charging port a micro sd card slot where you can expand storage of up to 128 gigabytes you also have a headphone jack, which is always nice, and then the standard volume and power buttons. It also comes with an eight megapixel rear camera and a two megapixel front camera, which you probably wouldn't use for taking selfies, but more for short video conferences with apps such as Google Hangouts or Skype. Here are some sample photos I've taken with this camera around the office. Now let's dive straight into the tablet and take a look at some of the general usage of playing games and watching videos and maybe reading eBooks if you want to compare this to something like the Amazon Kindle. In the box, you will find the tablet, the charging cable, the wall outlet plug and the user guide. So very straightforward items come with it and there are no additional accessories such as headphones or anything like that. Okay, so let's take a look at the general usage. So I've just logged in. Now, as you can see, the swiping gestures, they're pretty normal. If I go into settings, I can scroll through. So you may be very familiar with Android 9.0 if you have a smartphone running the same uh, OS. So this is uh, basically going to be a demo of three different things, reading books, watching videos, and playing games. So if I start off by opening uh, Google Books, then I have a book here called A Stranger in Town. So as you can see, much like the Kindle, you can swipe through. So very fluid, as you can see, there's um, not too much lag or anything, and I'm pretty much doing this in real time, so the pages are not lagging behind, so the two gigabytes of RAM is playing up pretty well when reading books especially. So if I try and swipe faster, obviously depending on your internet connection, it will take a few seconds maybe to load the page, but as you can see, it didn't take that long. It was pretty instant, maybe one second or maximum two seconds. So pretty happy with that, that's done a very good job. So reading books, I think it's really good. In daytime, you'd be able to just keep the brightness at full and you'll be able to see the pages quite clearly. So there's some really cool options in here. The navigation bar along the bottom here as well, that gives you quick access to things like the volume and taking a screenshot of the page you're on. So if I press that camera icon there, it will take a screenshot of the uh, viewport there and you can just share it, edit or delete. So if I go back, that is basically Google Play Books. All right, so next, let's take a look at YouTube videos and see how that plays. So let's open it up and let's go into my Trending Reviews channel. So loaded pretty quickly. I have this short cinematic film that I shot recently. So let's go ahead and play that. And try to hear the audio as well to see the quality in the uh, sound coming from the speakers. So I'll make this full screen. There we go. Let's just hold it up a little bit.
So hopefully that gives you an example of actually how smooth it plays back. You can see there's no buffering. It does a great job just loading the video straight away and playing it back without any problems. So YouTube, I guess Netflix will be the same as well. So videos, if you're going on some long journeys or flights or you're traveling, then this is really great to take with you and watch some uh, TV shows, movies, or even YouTube. So if you have any videos on the uh, micro SD card, then directly you will be able to play it back smoothly without any problems because this is using an internet connection and it still plays it very well. So this is one of the games I've downloaded, so hopefully it will give you an idea of actually how smooth it functions. So let's go ahead. I will turn the volume down slightly. So swiping gestures. So far, so good. There's no real lag or any problems buffering. I think the quality still looks quite good. Okay, so let's play something with a little bit more graphics power. So this is Temple Run 2. So I'll be judging to see if this is smooth as it is with your phone. So far, seems to be going quite well. It's uh, got good response time, so I'm gonna go ahead and play. So the graphics still look good. The uh, gestures are not lagging. So the swiping gestures are not delayed. As you can see, if they were delayed, then you'd be pretty bad at this game. So. For me, this looks like a very good alternative to buying a expensive flagship Android tablet. So if I was to recommend you to play games on journeys or commutes or anything like that, then uh, I would definitely recommend this tablet because it's doing a great job. So no lag, it does for gaming, I would definitely recommend this. In terms of performance, I think this is doing a very good job. Even if you have some kids or nieces or nephews that really wanna play games on a tablet, this is definitely the way to go because for the price, you can't get any better than this. I hope that was useful for you guys. So if you'd like to take a look at more information and if you'd actually like to buy one, then I have the links in the description below of where you can purchase it from Amazon in the UK, the US and also Canada. And if there's any other things you'd like me to test on this uh, tablet, then do drop a comment to me below as well. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like this. I hope you subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming up for some really cool tech gadgets and uh, I will catch you guys very soon. Take care.